Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here. Coming at you with another video. Now, it's been about a year since I've done, I think, my last <clears throat> networking update, and uh, not really too much has changed. But I'm going to be updating you on what's going on, and now, due to some new um, needs, um, there will be another server coming. For sure, one, maybe two uh, servers coming, probably Dell R710 or. 610 one of the series um <clears throat> but basically i'm gonna be letting you know what uh, these servers do um and addressing some questions real quick about this now first of all the biggest change since uh the last update is the actual management of these first well obviously i can do remotely or these the yellow ethernet are for the um idrax so i can remotely start them or do whatever do the console through these cables but I also can troubleshoot from right up here on this table um, it also I bought a chair here um, and we just have this Wi-Fi router here that sits here is kind of like a um, I just have it set to uh, so it's basically a switch um, and then that Ethernet cable comes over here so basically um, this helps with like work if I'm working from home I plug my laptop into this and I'll have my laptop screen, this screen, this screen, but also when I'm not using it for work, uh, these two monitors, they're both 1080 uh, P work great for managing, managing the two servers or well, all the servers, but mostly the two, um, if I don't actually manage them just remotely. So basically, um, we just got, you know, obviously a Dell basic keyboard, two Lenovo monitors that I got for a great deal. I think a hundred a piece. Um, on the sale this light I got here um, if I turn it kind of on here this light kind of comes up it's kind of just a nice little works uh, area now right here we have our modem um, now I bought this modem it's a Netgear modem um, which our connection comes up to that white uh, coax cable um, it actually looks really messy but it's really clean but back there it's just right there is kind of a war zone um, we have this hard drive here for whatever reason I think that's only a hundred gig one this is my main uh, surge protector right here um, we got the two Dell R200s plugged in and then the switch and as well as my modem and the second power strip is for the older equipment these two servers but since they don't run ever almost unless I'm doing a specific project that they can be utilized for um, those two other servers that I change around all the time install different stuff test stuff on if I don't just do it in one of my ES or my ESXi configuration, so uh, that's just plugged into. We have two outlets up here. Um, as you can see, one outlet, the outlet without the uh, uh, voltmeter, what's it called, kilowatt. Um, so this one over here, this uh, power strip is for the monitors and management and stuff. This is my separate 20 amp breaker. Just this outlet's on a 20 amp breaker. Um, and this is what I use for my servers down there that actually run 24-7. But if I use the older ones, I plug the other power strip into this outlet on my just shared 15 amp breaker. Um, because this is dedicated for the most reliability. But soon, I'll get a UPS, battery backup, and all that. So, I'll have to change that to a 20 amp uh, plug just for that UPS. Um, so that um, I have battery backup and it's just a little better for running multiple servers instead of just my two R200s Because usually when I get my new one only the new one will run and then the other rest of them will project So it won't be as big of a problem Now if we come down here again um, We have an old uh, Super stack by three com switch. I don't really use this um, Currently I might in the future though, so I'm keeping it but it's 10 100 so if I ever get enough servers where management consoles take up this much space, I use this and then um, this is my TP-Link gigabit switch. Um, these four yellow cables are for management. The black cables are for actual connection to the servers um, in both NICs. Um, this goes to my Apple TV in the living room and the other room in the basement. Um, this bottom uh, cable here goes to the switch up on top. This one goes to um, our internet router upstairs or Wi-Fi router I mean upstairs um, this one this Dell R200 um, both face plates can be locked and I have keys I just don't do it because there's no reason here to do that um, but this top one has 
um, two terabytes, um, and this is an ESXi currently running. It's got a PF Sense, um, a PF Sense running on it in one of the VMs, a web server and a game server. Um, but I can add ton more if I want. It's got eight gigs of RAM and a um, I don't know what it's an Intel Xeon. I don't know. I should know, but I don't know. And then this other Dell R200 is it runs Windows Server 2016 running an Active Directory in um, 2012 R2 um, kind of format for the Active Directory and runs a bunch of Windows services for a few Windows computers at our house that actual are physical, not just VMs. Um, obviously like DNS uh, server on this and uh, my DCHP is just through PFSense so I don't need that but I have a few others on there, obviously like remote desktop, server, so I can connect to it um, from Windows, but other than that, that's kind of the simple stuff on that. If you want to see more about those two, I can show you my configurations. Um, this is a Dell PowerEdge 2850. We got one hot swappable 150 gigabyte drive. It says 18, but that's just because it was a cheap um, bay that I bought for it. So, um, you know, I just got four blanks. Um, and then down here we have a Dell uh, DL380G4, which these two, uh, the bottom is way too loud and obviously way underpowered, um, but you know, it's fun to just screw around with it sometimes. Um, learn a few things with, I learn with these two right here. I mean, I learn with these two, but these are more, have to be running 24 seven and they can't really be interrupted for, or shut down too long. These two bottom ones, uh, doesn't matter. Um, I can shut them down, restart them, install new stuff whenever I want. Currently they both have ESXi 4.0 on them and they're running a bunch of Windows 7 uh, machines, uh, VMs, so I could use the Active Directory on them. And uh, Real quick before I go, I wanted to quick show you the cable management behind. Now all these cables that are like hanging, those don't actually go behind the servers. Um, <clears throat> this one currently does, but that's fine. If you look, it's really actually good. Um, this cable, we'll just quick push this to the side here. Usually it should be like that, but the backs, this can vent. Uh, both can vent as much as they want. These ethernets are managed real well. And then the bottom really doesn't matter because those are never on, but these two Dell R200s, um, you can see that by the two thumb screws, are get airflow really well the airflow goes through there real nice and I have no interruptions so uh, it's pretty good cable management back there um, looks a little messy just because I was messing around with the two bottom ones earlier but usually it's pretty much just the Ethernet cables those two power cords and not that black cable none of those but usually it's just literally Ethernet cords and those two and that's all that's back there usually um, not any of this other stuff because it, that's just there because I was testing so it's usually really extremely clean so uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Um, actually, quick before I go, I wanna quick tell you um, some of the um, other uses I've had for these two battle machines. You know, obviously Ubuntu server, Minecraft servers, that type of stuff, game servers, um, but really not too much uh, just because they're not so powerful. But anyway guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I know I have a few upgrades coming this summer for you guys to see. Also, I'm going to be getting a rack, so don't worry guys, it won't be the stack anymore. It'll be an actual rack tour, not a stack tour. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I will see you next week guys. Peace out.